everybody, welcome to Cardinal Stewart University. Um, we're going to go on a tour today, so you're going to see a lot of places around campus that um, we like to show off to students that are prospective students. So let's get started. So where we are now, we are in the St. Francis Chapel here. Since the university was built, the chapel was moved a total of three times, this being its final spot at the moment. Uh, it's a really big misconception that since we are a Catholic university, a lot of students believe that we should go to Mass. Um, mass is definitely optional for all of our students. We welcome in all religious faiths and denominations into the university. Um, uh, the Mass is here open Monday, Wednesday, Friday from uh, noon to one o'clock. And on Sundays, we do shuttle our students to a local parish in the community. Come on in and take a seat, guys. All right, so this is one of our many classrooms um, on our campus. So our class sizes average of about 15 students to the professor. They can be a little smaller depending on um, how far along you are in the program. Otherwise, they can be a little bit larger if you're doing your general studies. Um, as you notice, when you walk in, all the furniture is on wheels. We like to emphasize the fact that we move it around depending on the style of lecture that day. So if it's more discussion-based, they're going to be set up in pods like this. If it's more lecture-based, it's going to be set up in like a U-shape or rows. At the front of the classroom, there's always going to be either a projector, a whiteboard, or some of them have smart boards as well. All right, so here we are at our Information and Technology Help Desk. We have one of the student workers that will help us explain this station. Here we're able to unlock any of your accounts. We're also able to assist you with your email, Canvas, and MyStretch accounts, um, and any services you may need on campus with computers or other things like that, our supervisors are able to help with. Okay, so our next stop here is experiential learning and career education. In this area, basically, by the time you graduate from Cardinal Stretch okay. University, you're going to want certain internships under your belt and of course have a great resume. Here in this department, what they would do is help build those resumes for you and find those internships. If you can't find those internships, we're always here to help and sometimes if they're unpaid, here at Cardinal Stritch University we pay you for those internships. And it's a great resource to have by the time you graduate. Okay, so here is the university mail room. Um, being a resident here at Cardinal Stritch University, meaning that you live in Clare Residence Hall, you get a mail room and a mail key um, which you can send and receive mail. It's a fully operational mail room. Um, it's great for receiving packages, um, family packages back at home, sending mail and sending postcards back to loved ones. And it's a great way to get mail from Amazon. <laughs> So here we have the student union, which is one of the two places on campus that you can get food throughout the day. Um, you can come here and you can get a swipe and with your meal swipe, and you'll get a uh, grill item. It's more grab and go here with the cafeteria, which we'll see later is a little bit more all you can eat. Okay, so here we have the Bean, which is our student run coffee shop on campus. All the coffee is from Stone Creek Coffee. But we have a lot of drinks that are um, created by Switch students here at Switch. Um, you can use your meal swipe here in order to get a drink. So if you're like me, and you pretty much completely replace breakfast with coffee at this point, you can use your breakfast swipe here instead of throughout the day. What's your favorite drink? I personally love, oh, what is it called? The LE, that's my favorite. The coffee and chai, that's my favorite. So our next stop here is the Great Hall. The Great Hall is a great place for students to come hang out, relax, and sometimes even study. Um, it's also great for viewing sunsets, because um, it sunsets perfectly right down the center of Great Hall. Um, it also houses both athletics and academics. Fun fact, when constructing the campus center, they built the library a little bit bigger to emphasize academics over athletics. All right, so in here we have our student library. Our library is composed of two floors. This first floor is a very collaborative area where students can work on projects, work together, and they can work at a normal level of voice. And in here you can check out any books, any laptops, anything that you need for your classes. Upstairs we have a silent study area as well as a large computer lab. We also have to the back of our library a reference librarian that helps you with any research papers and how to navigate our library. So where we are now, we are in the gymnasium here. Um, as a university, we are a Division II university. We are affiliated with the NAIA and the CCAC. So essentially what that means is that not only do we compete against private universities in the Chicagoland area, but we also are allowed to give our student athletes scholarships for their performance academic and athletics. So now we're in the CC residence hall. This residence hall is meant for upperclassmen. They have the opportunity to live here. Um, we have open floor plans and suite style rooms over here. Um, on the first floor, you're going to find the kitchen and laundry. Downstairs, we have a fitness center and a lounge and the computer lab. 
So here we are in the CFA or the Communication and Fine Arts building and here you'll have, as you could probably guess, all of your Communications and Fine Arts classes. Um, as you will see walking around here, we have lots of art installations from students around, around the building, which is really cool to have. This also houses our um, theater here at school where we have all of our music and theater productions. We do a couple of street plays, a musical, a kids show, and a bunch of uh, full orchestra concerts every year. Welcome to Roger Bacon Hall. This hall is dedicated to nursing students only, so you wouldn't see any education majors or accounting majors held in this hallway. Um, above are all health science classrooms, so those labs that you see with uh, chemistry and biology and a lecture hall in there. And on this floor you see classrooms and physical assessment labs. Alright, so in here we have Sarah Dining Hall. This is our second meal option at the university. It has a buffet style. We also have a salad bar, a grill, and a soup bar. We also have a soft serve machine, which a lot of our students enjoy, and we serve Pepsi products. Okay, so where we are now, we are in Claire, in Claire Residence Hall, which is our main residence hall for our students here. Um, here in Claire, we have both um, three wings, east wing, center wing, and west wing. Each wing is three separate floors, and each floor will have a lounge similar to the one right over here. Right behind me, we have a desk worker who is here just to monitor who comes in and out of the building for security purposes, as well as to help students check out items that they may need for the room, such as vacuums, uh, ping pong paddles, or any other things that they may need. Okay. In this hallway, we have a timeline of the university. So in 1937, I'd like to point out that we were founded at St. Clair College, which used to be a training school for the Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. And then in 1946, we were renamed Cardinal Stritch College um, in honor of Samuel Cardinal Stritch. Okay. And the last spot I'd like to point out is in 1997, we became Cardinal Stritch University when we established our four academic colleges. So this is our final stop. Here we have the student services desk, which is kind of just a funnel for all of the other things in this area. Around here we have academic support, academic advising, um, international education, financial aid, the business office, admissions, a bunch of stuff is over here. So it's a really important area. Um, if you have any questions about anything, this actually used to be called the one-stop desk because it is kind of a one-stop for anything that you might need in university. The student workers up here can help you with it. Otherwise, that is our entire tour, so thanks so much for coming with us on this, and hopefully we'll see you on campus soon. Bye!